Hey guys, for our 2020 election matchup, we're doing Donald Trump, Republican incumbent, running for re-election against Tim Ryan. Again, this is 2020, not 2024. Keep that in mind. Tim Ryan is a representative from Ohio. I can show you him right here on the Wikipedia page. Again, he's from Ohio, and I do think his home state will help him in this election. Tim Ryan, he used to be a professional football player, and he actually um, tossed some, some, um, footballs into into you know at his rallies into the crowd which was kind of cool i thought but um yeah so here's tim ryan's campaign logo i mean it's awful but that doesn't really have to do with the prediction um so yeah let's get started um like i said his home state will actually make a difference in this election unlike many of my other ones and tim ryan is unique because he is actually pretty conservative Really, I mean, coming from a suburban state like like um like Ohio, and you know, or in a conservative state too, he is pretty conservative. Um, but um, I do think Ryan will will carry that first or that that second district of of uh, Nebraska. I do think Trump would carry Texas easily. This is twenty twenty here. Ryan would carry safe Democratic states, of course. Nothing wrong with him to many Democrats. Um, I just gave it away there that that Virginia would go blue. I'm sorry, but yes, it would. Ryan would carry New York. Trump would carry Nebraska at large. Trump would carry West Virginia and Indiana. All right, let's get into the good states. Um, let's see. Let's do Nevada, Arizona, and New Mexico. Remember, Tim Ryan is more conservative than many. All right, like a Bernie supporter would never support Tim Ryan. You know, if there was like another candidate, even like Biden, they would much rather go to Biden than Tim Ryan, because Tim Ryan is more than moderate. He is conservative. So because of that, Nevada, Arizona, and New Mexico are, are a pretty conservative region. And I and you know most of them, and I do think Ryan would carry all three. Most of them just voted for Trump. Um. You know, for Trump in in twenty uh sixteen and twenty twenty even because he is a conservative and Hillary and Biden are not more conservatives. But actually, looking back, I Ryan isn't like a very well known guy. All right, I should make that clear that Ryan is not a household name. Tim Ryan, I will actually give Donald Trump Arizona the most conservative of them. I do. I think Trump would care would uh, carry Arizona. And it's 11 electoral votes. Um, Tim. Uh, hmm. Let's go to the South. I think Donald Trump would carry North Carolina. But I do think Tim Ryan would carry Georgia. Um, eh, do I? I don't think so. I'm going back on my words here. I think Trump would carry Georgia. Because Tim Ryan won't have much of a connection with black voters at all. He First of all, he doesn't have much of a record as a representative at all, okay? He is not well known. He has never made any big moves. And his voting record has never favored minorities at all. He's not going to connect with these minorities much, especially coming from a rural state or a suburban state like Ohio. And because of that, I do think Trump would carry Florida, too. If Biden lost it, I don't see how Tim Ryan could carry it. Um, the blue wall. I think Trump would win Wisconsin, but Tim Ryan could carry could carry Michigan and Pennsylvania, more solidly Democratic states. And look at that, two sixty nine to two fifty one. If Trump wins Ohio, then he then it's an electoral tie. If Tim Ryan wins Ohio, then he wins the election. All right. I'm, going, I'm just going to say and then explain it. I do think Tim Ryan would narrowly carry Ohio. Of course, it's his home state, but many times his home states don't help. Um, it don't help if you're someone like Ron DeSantis, who you're a popular or an unpopular governor, excuse me. You know, because if you're an, unpop, if you're an, if you are an unpopular governor, then the first-hand people who see or who, you know, get how unpopular you are are in your home state. But Tim Ryan has never done anything wrong. His campaign is about that he doesn't upset people. He's a moderate guy, okay? And because of that, I do think Tim Ryan could carry, would narrowly carry Ohio. And 
the presidency with that because he's an acceptable candidate there. People trust him. They, they know him firsthand, not about how unpopular he is, but about how safe he is. So that wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, we'll get to another video soon. Bye.